I love motion, balance, and contrast. You know, and that doesn't matter if I'm doing a photograph, a sculpture, or a painting. It doesn't make any difference. Nature is the best resource of inspiration I've ever found, right? So I discover a rock that has a particular color, shape, form, texture, etc. And it automatically responds to something that I may have done already or just encourages something that uh, I've seen or felt. And then that, that particular stone then takes control of the process. You know, there are just some rocks I discover, I go, oh, you've got to be shown off. You're just too beautiful to be stuck under the water all year long. It took a while before people started to understand that, oh, this is art. Oh, these are not Anukshuks. Oh. There's only one guy doing it. So every year I go out to the river, it's a different landscape. And so when I get started, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do. But then after a couple of days or maybe a week, uh, yeah, usually after a week, I've got a fairly nice idea as to what direction things are taking. And if you want to really give it a name, it's, it's more or less on a conceptual or improvisational art form where you really don't know what's going to happen, but it's not going to be something that you knew before you started. It's like trusting the capacity to not know what you're doing and being very comfortable with it, trusting that it's going to lead you to the best possible solution to whatever the problem might be. I find thinking to be totally inadequate when it comes to being creative. Don't feel as though you need to have an imagination to be, uh, be creative. It, it, will, it will happen. You're just going to have to go into this whole thing without knowing. And from that not know, from the unknowing comes the discovery, which gives you the encouragement to continue and pursue something that you probably didn't ever think of. Let your eyes do all the understanding, not your head. Let your eyes tell you what you're looking at and what you want. That's how I feel about art, too. I mean, there's a lot of art that um, I look at it and I go, eh. and, and people go like, you know, well, why don't you like that? I go, I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't have the spirit, the life in it that I look for. I don't necessarily have to like the style of painting, but if it's well done and it's alive, I'll, I'll always like it. Without the spirit and the vitality of that energy, there's really nothing possible. It's just then, you know, boring. Boring, repetitive. I'd like to see, when I look at any artwork, I enjoy seeing the intelligence, that divine intelligence that a person accesses to produce their work. Words don't matter. It's showing the actual process of how uh, it happens. Then there's really very little to say. I go completely quiet. And in that quietness, everything is full. It's so much easier to become educated about something when you enter into uh, a process of based on that I don't know, I'm here to learn, mm -hmm. right? And from that, it's really lovely to see 
what it is that you discover because that in, that that discovery is the inspiration so inspiration actually feeds upon itself and then the continuation of the creative process ends up developing something that you never even imagined